another day, another job. This time we're upgrading the headlight bulbs on the van. So, Curtis of Amazon, we've got Beamly LED headlights. So, I haven't used these ones before, um, but they do look alright for fit. There's like quite a big heat sink on the back of there, but we'll have a go at putting them in now. I've already taken the headlight out this side. It's not a big job actually, the headlights are all in with three bolts, but you need to get these trims off in one piece which clip on, so you've got to be careful you don't break them. Uh, well, I'll show you in a minute how all that comes off. There we go, that's the uh, standard bulbs. The LED ones uh, seem quite bright as that, it's only dip beam but it is uh, fairly bright. Nice colour that, just makes it look a little bit more modern than the uh, the orange ones there. Uh, so the headlight lenses need a polish, um, if I get time today I'll do it quite uh, corroded and I may need a good, a good polish up. Well there you go, you can see the difference. Right, to replace these bulbs as you'll see, I have taken the headlight out on this side already. I'm going to show you on the other side in a minute how the headlight comes out. You could just about, on this side, get your hand round, but you won't stand a chance on that side. So, for sake of a few bolts, it's worth just taking the headlight out. It goes back in nice and easy, the three 10 mil headed bolts, and that's it. So you will need a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 mil socket. And I'll show you how you do it. First of all, top trim. Oh, that was tight. Someone's over tight now at some point. Oh. Just a little tip, if ever you put your tools up there, make sure you take them out because it is a quite quite a deep little channel there. So make sure you put your screws safe. I'm putting them in this little duct here. The air inlet. So that's one out. Like I say, you can do these bulbs without taking the headlight out, but you, you struggle for the sake of a few minutes. Let's trim this up. It's got a clip in it there. It just unlocks from a wing, it unlocks on that bit there. So, it's like someone's been getting a bit happy with some insulation tape there. So, that's the top trim. Oops, we'll put it up there. And then the bottom trim is only one screw on the bottom trim. There, it just unclips. There you go, pings off. You have two clips on the end, goes into the uh, wing. There, we've got one which looks like someone's broken it off. So, yeah, it's been broken off that one, so it doesn't really matter anyway. I don't think I'm not going to worry about it. Put it up there, then you're at the headlight. <clears throat> so, there's three screws on the headlight. That rusty one there, I'll do that one. Mega long these bolts as well. I don't know why they make them so long, but gone forever. These look at the size of that ridiculous. That for an headlight, I'll put it in there. It's a good opportunity. I'm going to clean all the leaves and all the debris out of this corner here as well before we uh, put the trims back on. You've got a bolt down there. Oh, I can't do that. Someone's been getting a bit happy with the tightening these bolts up. They're only little bolts, so don't need to be that tight. Now, some people recommend unplugging the headlight and taking it away to put the bolts in, but the lesser connection quick connections you undo, the better, because there's always a chance that you might break something. So, I'm leaving the headlights plugged in as I'm doing this. And the other bolt is there, can you see it? You can just see it there. I've got my ratchet somewhere, but I don't want to put it. So. Like I say, these headlights do need a, a polish up. They're not really showing up on the film, but they're really, really yellowed out. So I might do that. If I get a chance, I'll do it. I'll show you how to polish your headlights up if you've got a similar issue. Obviously, on the newer vans, it, it won't be as much of a, a problem as I thought. But so with three bolts, and that's out. It's just basically a bit of a yank. It sits in a clip up there, 
and the headlights out I'm going to bring it round and do the bulb along with these LED headlights but also in the headlight you can just about see it is it about there where my finger is that is uh, not a standard bulb I've taken out that's a side light bulb and I've taken out a standard catless bulb and I've put in one of these another Amazon special I'll find the link for these because these there's a lot of LED bulbs on Amazon aren't they good but these are mega bright we almost not quite as bright as daytime running lights but they are quite bright um, so we also are doing that as an upgrade as well so that's uh, replace the standard bulbs the only other bulb is in there is a main beam which uh, to be honest we're not that fussed about that for now so uh, I'll put that in there and I'll get this headlight out and the headlight's now unbolted I'm just going to lift it carefully you don't scratch your, your paint work underneath if your bumper's painted uh, and that is where the bulbs are in there so get this cap twist it off oops put it on the edge and go for a minute I'm upsetting that foam it's a bit a bit fiddly if I'm honest but uh, you can't probably see what I'm doing Wait a minute. Uh, I'm taking the capless bulb out can you see that make sure it's not hot if you've just had your lights on because trust me they burn your fingers though if you're not careful get this new capless we can go in two ways round so it's worth just checking first of all that it's the right way around. I'm just going to go and put the headlights on. Right so that's uh, coming to the wrong way around. Take it out. There you go. Mega bright then. I, f I forgot exactly but I'll put a link on Amazon. I forgot exactly what uh, what mate they are, but they've been brilliant on the other cars I've put them in, they've lasted and uh, as you can see that's just a side light bulb. <laughs> makes it quite bright. Oh this is a bit I'm not looking forward to getting this new bulb in there. Okay, we're getting that. I'll probably put the headlight upside down I think for now. And do the clips. It's a standard bulb. That's what we're going to put in. Find a separate plug. I'm not going to lie, it's a bit, uh, a bit fiddly with this housing because they've got. Oh, the clips aren't really designed for this type of bulb, but they can be bent round to. To fit and once they're in they're in hopefully so if I try and look that on oh it's mega tight that one we'll get some pliers I think for that just bear with me a second and we'll get the pliers we need a nice big pair of pliers Am I putting one side of that clip on? Because it's mega tight and it's more than enough, is that? So as you can see, that's a fan part there. And there's just one clip one side, but it's solid at that. The other clip just at side of the, the body, which is like an heat sink, if you will. But that one clip in there, and that bulb's solid, so... Make sure this plug's the right way around. Again, because it can go two ways. There we go. Plug underneath. Yeah. Put my cap on and we sort it. No, get the other one back in there. Definitely do need to be polished these headlights. For sure the Huh? 
can't obviously see it the same, but it'd be really, really pitted the lenses. But uh, yeah, makes it look a little bit more modern. And three bolts again. Go back in. To be honest, you can line them where the washers have been on the headlight previously, so you know it's lined back up. I'll just show you that now. As you can see, it's like an imprint where the washer was. So once I've tightened them all up, it'll be on that position there. Adjust it to where it needs to sit on the imprints where the washer was. Forever is on the middle. The yeah, lights are back in now. We're going to turn them off and uh, see if we get time to polish these lenses. Right, so I polish the headlights up. Uh, you can get some fine uh, sandpaper like 2000 grit and, and rub them down, but to be fair, I did do these a while ago, we just oxidized again. So I put a little dabbed a bit of compound on. It's Auto Glim restoration compound. Now that comes in a kit, um, but it takes forever, you put it in your drill and it takes absolutely ages so I've got my uh, heavy duty paint buffer there clean the head up on it and we're going to waz over the headlight and see what it looks like You said hello and I lost my control in just one tiny second You do to me what I've seen in the movies but this really happening my mind explodes i can feel my bones shaking to the beat of my bleeding heart and overload don't know how this goes but i'm pretty sure you just made my world stop i can't believe my eyes when i get close to you close to you close to you so pretty i could die as good as the other side but uh, there's a little bit of condensation down there which will probably dry out when it gets better weather so, like a pit hole in there someone's had some beam benders on them but i've got to say it's uh, <laughs> a lot better than it was so yeah recommend that if your lights are a little bit faded just get them buffed up um, just be careful you buy your own kit you don't slip and scratch your paintwork on the sides so, because on them edges if you touch it it'll just go straight down to the metal so right we're gonna get the trims back on and i'll show you the finished product and there we go job sort of upgraded headlights this one needs a little bit more work it's a little bit easier but it's a, a vast improvement so, I you know, recommend you, you do that if you're Fiat Ducato is uh, a few years old. Obviously you're not going to upset the warranty or anything, so... There we go. There we go. So, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and comment. Uh, I'll put in the description below uh, where we got these bulbs from. They're all Amazon specials, so obviously we'll feed back to see how how they do, um, and we'll see you on the next one.